Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly channel. My name is John. Today I'm going to help you assemble your 54 inch climbing dome. This video will follow the steps outlined in the instructions that come with your climbing dome. If you've already begun and you need help on a specific step, feel free to check the comments or description below for a timestamp associated with each step. Now let's see what comes inside the box. There are steps within this assembly process that may be difficult to do on your own, so it may be helpful to have another person available. Before we begin the assembly process, let's take a look at some of the tools you're gonna to need to complete the job. You'll need a 3 16 Allen key, which is included in the hardware, half-inch wrench, safety glasses, and a half-inch socket. To make this easier, we're going to use a drill with a socket adapter. If you do use a drill, be sure not to over-tighten because you could damage the parts or hardware. All right, let's get started. For the first step, you're going to take four brown tubes and two blue tubes and arrange them like this. All the tubes are similar, but they should have a parts identifying sticker on them so you know which one to use. Now you're going to take the tubes and slide them onto the bolt. They do go in a specific order, so be sure to follow along. Now tighten down with the nut. Repeat this step four more times for a total of five joints. Now go ahead and tighten up all the hardware. Now take another brown tube and connect it to the bottom of the joints we just did. Only finger tighten hardware for now. Repeat this step for the other four joints. Now you're going to take two completed joints and a blue tube and attach it to the brown tubes at the top of the assembly. Go ahead and stand the assembly up for the rest of the build. Now you're going to take two blue tubes and attach them to all other blue tubes. They go in a specific order, so be sure to follow along. Now you're going to remove the hardware from this bottom joint so we can add the blue tube and a new brown tube. Make sure all the bolts on the bottom go in the direction shown with the head of the bolt on the outside to prevent injury. Repeat the same step for the other end of the brown tube. Now you're going to take the three joints from earlier and attach them using the same method as the previous three steps. Once you've got all the joints attached, the assembly should look like this. Now you're going to remove the hardware from the top joints, add two brown tubes and one blue tube, they go in a specific order, so be sure to follow along. Only finger tighten the hardware for now. Now we're going to slide over to the next joint, remove the hardware. We're going to add a blue and a brown tube. They go in a specific order, so be sure to follow along.
Repeat this step for the next two joints. For the last joint, we're going to add the final blue tube as well as the loose brown tubes. For this step, you're going to attach all the blue tubes at the top. They go in a specific order, so be sure to follow along. Now go ahead and tighten up all the hardware. For this last step on all the exposed threads, you're gonna add a washer, handhold, and secure with a nut. When tightening the handhold, be sure that the notch on the bottom sits flat against the top tube. Also make sure that you don't over tighten the hardware, otherwise you could cause the handhold to break. Thanks for watching our video of how to assemble a lifetime 54 inch climbing dome. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team and check out our other awesome products at lifetime.com.